we're in Italy. We're sailing a very Italian looking boat in very Italian conditions and it's fantastic. Notice with these ultra clean, stylish aesthetics, you have barely a coach route, so you have a very shallow cockpit, really very little protection, short benches, not even a table on this. But what you do get is this in this angle, sailing the boat, when the wind would quarter, you're just looking at 50 feet of clean deck in front of you, no lines, no nonsense. Just the helm, and it's a beautiful plate sailing pleasure. I'm sounding Italian now. So, in these sort of flat water conditions, it's um, for a powerful boat, she's, she's alright to manage. You know, it's just me on deck at the moment. We've been generally sailing a lot long at sort of eight, nine and a half knots. area here. Clutches, all the lines led under the combings neatly, basically two inches because you're on a self-tacking jib. So the helm can sit in here, ease off the sheet quite easily. The same with the main sheet and you've got powered, if you want them, powered. Speeds for the winches as well. So the Argentinian designer Soto Asabal has given the uh, Giving this 50 some real flair to the aft quarters, which they arch out like this and uh, really direct steering. And, and you can we can feel it when we did have some breeze, but it just makes you think that in a blow going downwind, she'd be a real rocket and great fun to, to sail. So, as you can see on the interior of the 50, plenty of light and space. Um, this finish was done specifically for this owner, it's a whitewashed oak look. Which is a bit different to normal, um, but that's indicative of, of Solaris. They're used to doing sort of semi-custom things like that. So uh, they build. They're used to building big boats, and they're, now they're do, producing smaller boats in series. But there's still room for semi-custom aspects like that. Uh, it also means the finish quality is excellent, and the devil in, is in the detail. Some aspects I like, particularly on this, there's a uh, room for a twin cabin with offset bunks uh, to port aft, so some nice drawer fridges to give you extra cold space if you want. There's a really nice wet weather locker in the head um, and areas you need to as well as a single single level sole which makes things life easy walking through the boat. Uh, everything lifts up for access to stowage um, and I like, I like the for example on the forward berth that lifts up on struts to give you plenty of stowage room in there. All in all, smartly finished interior. We've come here to Aquileia, near Trieste in Italy, to find out what puts the substance into these stylish boats. So coming to the yard is always a great way of seeing obviously how the boats are put together but really what lurks beneath all the floorboards, how their boats are constructed. So when I talk about substance of the Solaris, uh, here's a great example. Um, the thickness of the foam cord bulkheads which are laminated both to the hull and to the deck, not glued. Laminated so it keeps a really stiff structure. Um, and it's a, this is the 58, but the build is the same, they're vinylesta infused hulls. Uh, and you, you get to see how the, the tanks are bedded in, how the stiffeners, longitudinal stringers are put in, and the um, chain plate structures, all composite as well. And it's a great way of appreciating how, how well built these boats are.
three words I'd use to summarize the Solaris 50 would be luxury, style and performance. She's built and finished very, very well. Um, the performance shines through when you're on the helm, especially in the sort of conditions we've had, flat water, light winds, where she'll outmatch the wind speed and, and is an absolute delight. And then there's the aesthetics, which, uh, you know, when you look at the reverse bow style, this ultra clean deck, flared aft quarters, I think she's arguably the sexiest 50 foot monohull there is out there. So she really delivers on all those three things.